right, just another step. Just another One step. more step. That's it. That's it. High above the Tyson Tower press box, Maryland just crushes the hopes out of Rutgers as the third quarter ends. Wow. It's a, it's a little tip off to the post game show, but what an ending. Maryland up 8 2 at the end of the half, now up 13 to 5. Mason. What, what changed there in the last minute? Yeah, for the longest time in this game, Maryland was dodging off the wings with success. Rutgers wasn't driving on the hip well, wasn't getting over, and was sliding early. Rutgers went back to their pack and in late slide defense, and the Terps, it took a while, but they got back to just ball movement, beating it, plastic lacrosse, moving that high crease over, and then got, got a couple of breakaway shots from, from their big shooters, and they converted on it. Maryland wins the Big Ten tournament title. I'm Wayne Viner, that's Bruce Foster. Mason back from Florida. Bruce been waiting for this for a long time. What do you got? 17 to seven, I never would thought it would be that kind of a spread. But Maryland came out hopping, and really, the other goalie kept them in this game. This game could have been really ugly, but uh, Pearson was just, cursed uh, uh, rather, was spectacular. But hey, Logan, it's the same old thing. I thought the Mayo was special. He was. I was. I thought he, he really shoot. was special. Mason, you said something about the way he dodges and, and brings that offense. Yeah, he's just a shifty player on the outside, and then that shot that he has, that load of high riser that he has, is so effective for Maryland. It's just the rotation of guys that comes through, the way they move the ball around, and even later in the game when they weren't weren't trying to score, Brennan pulls a quick dodge move and lets one go, and Maryland, just throughout the game, just showed the depth, the talent. Rutgers, only a team that really goes six deep in the midfield, and Maryland's going to expose anybody that has that kind of depth. Hey, that's here's the bottom line, guys. Yep. All right, part one of the season is over. Yeah. Now we're into the real season. All right, now we need... Four more wins. Four more. You go four and zero. Oh, go four and zero. Oh. We're in the promised land, and that's all we got to do. But yeah. there's no more room for a loss. You don't no, get no excuse. more room. Listen, the best team I've ever you seen. You don't get an excuse if you lose. Here they come. So we're going to be back in a moment for the post game celebration. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Four Gates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Four Gates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. Super post game here after the press conference still rain, so we're gonna make this quick. Bruce, you said the season starts tonight for real. Well, elaborate on that. This has been great. This is 14 straight wins. Win the Big Ten. They win the Big Ten championship. Everything's great. But listen, we got the eye on the prize, like Logan Wisnowski said. Yep. This is all about winning the Natty. We gotta make up for that horrific end of the season last year. We gotta put this game down. Put this team in the in the history books because yep. this team is really special. And I tell you what picture I love great, and I get it on this too. Yep. You had Jonathan Donville yep. and Keegan Kahn. Yeah, I've never yep. seen two guys as happy as they were. No, they'd certainly they look happy. From they look this. unbelievable. It, it's one thing, and I told you as you got in the elevator that you, you got to remember to be happy. It wasn't they didn't play a perfect game, and I know we're looking for one more. But so far, this has been great. Mason has watched most of this from afar this season. Now that you're back in College Park, 
what's your take on how you, you go 4-0 and from here? Yeah, I think you just keep doing what you're doing. Keep moving the ball well. Keep playing off of who's hot. Mm -hmm. uh, Weirman just got to keep doing his thing, which Coach Tillman was talking about a little bit, the way that he responded after the Hopkins game where he didn't play as well. And it's it's going to be a grind from here on out. This is where you know school's wrapping up. You get to really focus in on what you're doing and then go to work on, on winning that championship, on making that goal. And there's no secret that that's the goal for these guys. That's the goal for their family. That's why a lot of them came back. Uh, tier 2 College Park is to – have this have this moment get back to Hartford and and come back on on what happened last year like Bruce said I think this is still still the best team I have seen in any sport that I've covered here uh, I've been a Maryland fan my whole life this is a, a still a That's ride for to tonight the uh, a week from tomorrow I think is going to be our first game so see you on Sunday next Sunday in College Park